Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft with me, the Beef. Uh, we are working on our chimney here. That's right, a chimney. Every mansion, mansion? It's not a mansion. Every farmhouse needs a chimney. And so we're going to give a chimney with a little bit of smoke. Because where there's smoke, there's fire. I'm not even sure what that means. Can I just do... Yeah, I can. I can definitely just do that. Now, is this going to be tricky? No, it should be okay. I am currently burning my little feet. Oh, God. No, 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 no. What a way to go. What a way to go that would be. Let's just... Oh, goodness. We're fine. We're fine. Anyway, hope everybody's having a good day. We're going to work on the house a little bit more today, but we're also going to do other things. Seems we've got a few visitors here, and this time they're kind of close. Um, I do have a lot of arrows. Should I do it? I think I'm going to do it. We're going after them. They're saying hardcore without a little, a little risk. And then it started raining immediately. I mean, that was pretty epic. Uh, was there only two? Oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you don't want none of this. Now I got a bad omen effect. There's so many of them. Don't you dare hit my sheep. These are livestock. Very valuable. Okay, bad omen effect. But I can I can drink that effect away, right? I'm not going to go to the village anytime soon. I need to actually literally drink that effect away. Because if I accidentally go to a village and it triggers, triggers a raid, that would not be good. Is there a cow up here? I feel like I've seen one wandering around up here. And I've thought about using it for this very occasion. You are not a cow. Do I have my leather boots on me? Oh, boy. This is just getting a little tougher and tougher. If I start sinking... Oh, gosh. Don't... Oh, I think... It... Yes, 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 yes. Come here, good friend. Come here, buddy. Delicious. The bad omen is gone. Oh, there's... I'm going to take one for good luck in case it happens again. Look it. My house is looking unbelievable, guys. I'm currently just finishing the walls. Um, I realize now if I show you every little block placed... I mean, I'm not going to, you know, skip a, a huge amount ahead because I think part of the charm of this series is you guys get to come along for the ride with me. But if I show every single block placed, then um, we'll never finish this <laughs> house. So I do some of it off camera uh, and then I'll show you as we go along. But so far, it's looking really, really good. Love little chimney here. And currently, we're about to start work on the second level there. I just got to grab a bunch. Of oh, yeah. I should address this. I know you guys have said multiple times in the comments in this series and my um, Vintage Craft series that I could just do a 2x2, two two, but I hate this stuff. However, I was running so low on um, spruce that I decided, eh, I'm just going to go for it. I could have elevated it off the ground and, and then not had this, but I'm thinking this might come in useful when I eventually have a silk touch shovel. Um, because then I can actually use it to decorate animal areas and stuff like that. So we'll keep it over here for now. We'll probably keep regrowing the spruce on this little patch. Because I don't think I'm going to need too much of it even when I do get my silk touch. So yeah, that's the plan for now. Um, yeah, in the meantime, just got to chop down more spruce and more wood in general and continue the house. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. That's good. I think I just found my, my future... Um, House Carl. <laughs> I haven't played too much Skyrim. This is doing a lot of damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. Let's not get crazy here. Let's get our steak. Let's eat. I'm hoping to lure that zombie down into a pit and convert it. You just hit yourself, stupid. Why are you hitting yourself? Okay. I'll take that. Now, let's make a pit real quick. You know, usually I don't let it get to nighttime because I get a little worried. Um, and... I mean, rightfully so. I could die at any minute. But I'm hoping that we can get this. Here we go. Here we go. What are you? What version of villager is that? Oh, there's a creeper right there. I didn't even see it. This is not good. Okay. This way. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now. I shouldn't be using those blocks, actually, to let it... To, to trap it in, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now, I don't have anything to convert him just yet. Got to keep an eye out. But I'm thinking it'll be all right. Does he, he is holding dirt. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. He's holding dirt. 
We've got him over here. And now, if I combine this with the other villager I have, I can actually start villager breeding, which would be nice. Yikes, maybe I left it too late. I should really have a nice covered area to sleep. Um, Just gonna do a quick perimeter check. I think I should be okay to sleep now. Please? Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Let's go collect some saplings and then back to building. And then I gotta go to the nether eventually and get some potions. Just continuing some work here, guys. I think I'm one short here. Luckily, I have... One of these guys up here. You'll notice there's a big difference, but really it's only, I mean, I, I did this side of the top floor, that side of the top floor, and then I'm starting to fill in walls up here, and I've started to fill in walls down there, which I will show you guys in just a second. Um, I just need to finish off this section here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and use the dirt to make myself a little pathway over. Boom. There we go. Let me just show you, before I continue anything else, let me just show you what I've got so far you know what why am i carrying two shovels let's just uh is this gonna be a oh my gosh that's fine everything's fine <laughs> i like to live life on the edge is what i like to do my okay we'll forget that uh, um check this out sides have been done so these little these little areas this is a nice little table and chairs this is gonna have like a porch that goes all the way around so we're gonna fill in this stuff later uh, but for now, the walls are being filled in. You've already seen the front all filled in. And let me show you the other side. I think you've already seen the other side all filled in, too. But the roof is starting to come together, kind of. we got a little bit of a wraparound happening here. Nothing still up here. We just have to finish that off. Um, this side is all done in terms of the walls outside. Again, um, in Blue Bits' tutorial, he's got like a little garden in here. We're going to put something else in there. I'm still not sure what, but we're going to put something else in there. Same with the other side. He's got like little seating areas and stuff like that, which we might end up doing. He's even got like a little barbecue area on one of these, which I think is a great idea. But I have a barbecue design that I really, really like to use, so um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that later. Let's sleep. Gosh, this is nerve-wracking. I really need to put the bed inside the house. Speaking of which, now that I have a roof in there, I should really light it up. It is lit. Okay, good. Anyway, got to continue. That's the progress so far. I'm thinking I might get this house finished this episode, guys. I hope so anyway. And then we could start decorating and doing other things that we require that are required of us in this world. Namely, converting that guy. I mean, is it really important that I convert that guy because there's villagers everywhere? Right? I could just bring one of those villagers over this way and then I still have a villager down there somewhere hanging out with the with the chickens. This is so nerve-wracking being up this high and knowing that one bad drop could be the end of the entire world and all the work that I put into this house. <laughs> Guys, check out the back. This is looking unbelievable. Like I said, I'm loosely, well, not loosely. I am following pretty closely uh, Blue Bits build, but I'm adding my own colored materials for the most part. Um, so yeah, I put some dark oak up there. It's looking really, really good. Look at the back of this house. I am excited to make the indoors. Like, I want to have a dining room table right there. That's probably going to be my master bedroom. We're, I still didn't get these stupid little dirt blocks out of there. I'm going to do that now. But, yeah, I'm pumped to do the rest of this build. I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be done this episode, like I mentioned. I certainly hope so, unless I run into a problem where I just don't have enough blocks or enough willpower to continue. But this has taken a long time. And then down here, like I said, I'm going to have kind of a walkout basement sort of thing. Um, I'll probably inset these one though, and then have like a walkout basement sort of deal at the bottom. I don't want it to look too medieval-y though, so I gotta be careful with how I do that. Because right now, it looks- ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! Look at he's dying. Oh, oh, you're all dying. Oh my goodness! Thanks for point- there's emeralds up there. Thanks for pointing out where the- where the snow is. You guys are all taking damage, huh? Ah, oh, it's a shame. Oh, that oh, that's going to ruin your day. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. I'm almost done. It looks like just the roof, I think, for the most part, is um remains. And the house is officially done. What a beauty. What a... It looks good from every single angle. In fact, I think my favorite angle is the, the angle from the back. Look at it. Look at it. 
Kramer reference. I made a few changes from the original design, but I think it still looks pretty dang good. Oh my goodness. It is nice. It is really, really nice. It feels cozy. It feels like a cabin. I have to do the walkout basement and the wraparound porch. The porch is going to go all the way around the house, and it's going to be very, very useful on those nice rainy days where we could just we could just sit on the porch and enjoy. And again, I still got to do something. Maybe I'll put the... No, the barbecue area doesn't make any sense being over here. But anyway, that's it. The house is done. Now to do other things that are very, very necessary. We need a mending book. How the heck do you make a lectern again? I have books. Oh, I need to make a bookshelf first, then the lectern. We need mending books, guys, because we need to mend some stuff. Uh, because we, we don't even have any diamonds. But what's the point of having diamonds when if I get diamonds, they break immediately. My tools break immediately. So I need mending. So I'm going to try for the first time ever in my Minecraft career, I'm going to try to get a mending villager now um i've heard this is actually pretty tough to do and it takes a really long time so i am not holding out much hope but i mean it's worth a shot right also we're gonna name our horse lydia in honor of a great friend we lost in another series on my non-minecraft gaming channel lydia do you like your new name She looks proud to wear the name Lydia. Did you see the way her head tilted up and did one of these? Look at that. She loves it. She loves it. Oh, also, this thing has slowly gotten bigger. <laughs> As I was building, I was coming down here, and I was um, taking all the grown wheat and replanting the seeds. So uh, that that's slowly gotten bigger. And I want to make a mine shaft entrance. Now, I don't want to make it near the house. I want to make it more realistic. So you have to travel a little, a little to get to the mine shaft. There are many, many opportunities for that. In fact, we have a couple of holes in the side of a mountain. I mean, this is one of them right here. But there's a couple more that I've seen, I think, over here-ish on this side, if I'm not mistaken. But I could be wrong. Anyway, that is for another time. But right now, we need to try for a mending book. Now, as far as I understand it, you just place the lectern down. And you keep placing the lectern down until the villager gives you mending. And apparently, this could take quite a long time. So, because it's a rare, it's a rare trade. Um, look at that. That's what I was thinking right there. That might be too big for a mine entrance, actually. So maybe we'll uh, we'll leave that for something else, and we'll just do a little tiny mine entrance, like right there. I want to have like a platform for the mine cart, and then a, a rail that goes all the way down. I think that'll be kind of fun. Anyway, villager, are you still over here? I hope so. Still over here with all his friends, the chickens. <laughs> this villager loves chicken. Can I play? I can't place that because of the chicken. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Can you? Uh. Oh, right here. Boom. Turn into a guy. There you go. Smite. All right. Oh, I actually I have to get in there with him because I gotta keep breaking this thing. This could take us a long time. Oh wait, can he jump out with the lectern? I need to kill these chickens. <sighs> Look away. I know these were your friends, but. They gave me eggs, and now I'm killing them because I need chicken anyway. And plus, I have eggs, and we're going to start our chicken farm on the other side. The chickens are no longer necessary here. Stay right there. I saw you. <laughs> Just in case you had any idea of uh, of leaving. Um, oh, the problem is... Oh, this is going to be annoying. Oh, okay. Loyalty? This is going to take no time at all. Curse of Vanishing. Get out. That was like the fourth time I placed it. I got mending. The only problem is it's 36 emeralds. Holy crap. How am I going to? Okay. Can we get that cheaper? If we trade like paper for the emerald? Probably, right? Uh, also, I put this around so that he didn't have a chance to actually leave once I, once I got. Okay. That's good. That's good. Here. Put some torches in there so nothing can actually get you. So we got a mending vil. Oh, wait. Is he going to? despawn like that i hope or not despawn but change his um change his trades i hope not i'm gonna go get a bunch of paper now i do have a lot of uh of sugar cane so that could help us 
taking Lydia this time to get us there a little bit quicker. Oh, Lydia, don't rear up like that. Come on, I know you love your name and all, but you don't have to you don't have to do it every time I say the word Lydia. That'd be pretty funny if she did it again. Oh, of course. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Of course he Of course. Of course. Of course you got out. Because you could jump on this and then that's just another block on top. Oh my goodness. I promise you guys I'm not as stupid as I usually make myself out to be. Uh, hey, do you not want to get... Do you please... Uh, please? Oh no. Can you come this way? Come on, please? Here, look, I've got... Why is he showing me emeralds? Is it because I can do a trade like that? Here, can you... Is he... Hold on. Is this a thing? Hold on, is this a thing? Is he, is he following me because I have paper? This seems like it's a thing. Uh oh! No, 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 no! Don't go back there! No, no! Please, you're gonna, you're gonna fall in some dirt, in some, in some snow, and it's not gonna be good, Aww. guy. Please, 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 just, just do this for me. I gotta like, I gotta make a much higher wall. But I would like to get him inside of it first. This is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be very, very. I don't want to move. The um, here, here. You know what? Can I do this? I got two emeralds out of that. That's, this is not gonna, this is not gonna do. Can you come in here? Please? You're gonna die! I don't even have a bed here. I gotta go sleep. Lydia, let's go! Oh my god, Lydia, why are you stuck? Oh, because you're attached to the thing! This is not good. Go, Lydia, go! Oh no, the sun is going down. This is gonna be bad. I might have to fight some stuff. Did anything spawn up here yet? Oh no. Oh no. Let's just... Okay, have a quick look around. Let's go sleep. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Good job, Lydia. Now let's go deal with that villager again. <laughs> Maybe I should bring the bed with me. Why am I not bringing the bed with me? It's not like I can set a spawn point anyway. Am I right? Of course I am. I might have to start from scratch with a different... There's a spider under my house with a different villager that um, isn't an idiot. Get in the pit. Get in the... Oh, now you're going in there. Now you're going in there. Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Don't jump out, though. Don't jump out. Uh, okay. This is fine. This is fine. He's not going to be able to jump out with this angle. Okay? Yeah. We're good. We're good. We trapped him in here. This is fantastic. Do you offer another trade now by any chance there? Nah. Not yet, right? No. We got to do uh, a little bit more of... Oh, man. Maybe I should just set up a massive sugarcane farm. I don't know exactly how this works. How the heck am I going to get 36 emeralds and a book for this trade? This could take us a long time. In the meantime, though, I'm going to go ahead and just dig out a little bit of dirt here just to close off his area so that he is completely unable to escape and stuff is unable to get inside uh, I probably should leave that open though Ooh, that might be a good spot for a mine shaft too actually oh wow how have I not seen this before just going to light it up real quick just to make sure nothing surprises me in the future. I think this would be a really cool spot for it. And then we can have it sort of wind around. Ooh, the ideas that are rolling through my head right now. Speaking of ideas, I have a plan. Let's remove this torch. I don't know. I'm not sure how snow reacts to torches still. I also put on my leather boots just in case we get kind of stuck up here. Um, I have a plan. We're going to go and make one of these villagers up here. A farming villager. That way we can farm vegetables and crops and trade for emeralds and then use those emeralds to buy the mending book. Now, I think I trapped one here earlier. Yes, I did. Um, you don't seem to be super happy trapped in there. And I feel like I'll probably 
I might have to break through the wall here just because I don't want him to escape. Oh, he can. There we go. Didn't realize the chest was right there. Hi there, buddy. I have not traded with you, so you should be able to not be a cartographer. Perfect. And now I have one of these for you. Now, I know this isn't exactly uh, a farming location, but I want you to be a farming villager. Okay? Farm for me. There you go. Wheat and taters. Perfect. It just so happens there's a bunch of wheat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. I don't like the fact that I have to, like... Oh, boy. Here, let's just do that. Just one. There's a bunch of wheat. Oh, do I have my bed on me? I sure do. Let's get that ready. There's a bunch of wheat over over there, which I'm going to grab. Come on. These villagers here, by the way, are these guys, like, unjobbable? Because it seems like they're unjobbable. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can job them. But I, I, I don't, they look very different. So I'm a little bit hesitant to think that you can job them. All right. Well, why is he having the sparkles? Interesting. Oh, because I put the bed down. Huh. All right, you stay here. Are they able to open gates? If not, why not? Right? Ooh, more of this. Oh, this is good. This is good, guys. We're getting some wheat. Plus, I have a bunch back at the at the house. But I don't have it here with me. So, oh, I almost fell down. I'm not sure. I guess I, here, let's, let's, no, I don't want you to come out, though, is the problem. Okay. There we go. Come here. I got more for you. Oh, wait. How much is this going to net me? Uh, there we go. There we go. All right. He's leveling up. We've only got 24 taters. There's a 26 potato trade. Are you going to have a new trade for me, buddy? What you got? Ooh, pumpkins. Okay. Okay, pumpkins are good. Pumpkins are good. We can do pumpkins. We can make a pumpkin farm. I feel like we got to make like a farm now. Like a farm farm. Sorry, dude. This. Oh, don't. Okay. Whew. All right. So we've got a plan. Oh, that looks so cool. We've got a plan. This guy needs a little bit more uh, paper to move on to the next level. It's a very expensive mending book, and I think there are cheaper versions, but I'm just I'm, I'm just going to go with it. Why not? This also gives us a, a reason to travel to villages. I think I want to keep the farming villager up there. Maybe we'll have a different villager past Whale Tail Peak, and now we have a villager up here, which I can make him a little cabin. He could be like the official, um, I don't know, cart a librarian maybe he's got like a little uh knowledge maybe he's just a little hermit he's just a little hermit staying up here doing his little hermity things yeah that'd be kind of cool right he's got his own little cabin here he's got his protector right there so what do you got oh you, you still have the same i also made this tiny little sugarcane farm here so i can quickly make my move 25 emeralds i need potatoes i need wheat and i need pumpkins i don't even do i have pumpkins growing down there i don't think i do i think it might just be melons hmm Aww. well i'm up to 30 emeralds now i need six more emeralds this is just taking really really long to grow i'm probably better off just going and farming up some potatoes make maybe making some sort of automated uh or a semi-automated farm that looks really cool too um that's going to be it for this episode, guys. We made a lot of progress this episode. The house, which, hold on. Can I change the video settings to, like, 24 chunks? Let's see if we can actually see the house from here. Oh, look. There's there's only two villagers, by the way, in that village, which kind of worries me. I feel like maybe they got attacked. Look at the house. You can see it from here. In the next episode, we'll probably just put the porch around the house. Maybe even start the um, the mine shaft entrance and, and structure and stuff like that. And definitely mess around with these villagers. I might set up sort of like a permanent home for one villager in each location. So this villager will obviously be the librarian villager. And then we'll have a different type of villager over there. I'm not sure what other beneficial trades a villager could, maybe another librarian that does like fortune or something. I don't know. And then we'll have the, um, the farming villager will be up here. So it'll kind of be like, we have to leave our home 
to go and deliver the goods to the farmer. We get paid by the farmer. Then we go over to the librarian and we purchase stuff from the librarian. And then we go over to Welltail Peak Village and then we'll do something over there. But I think it'll be kind of fun. It'll add a fun dynamic. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video and click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I don't remember if there were villagers up there. I don't think there were.